Whoa, I'm back. It's time to test out a new burn deck. Yeah, we're going with a Guardian Burn. Yeah, I know. It's probably not a good idea to bring in the Guardians at all in any game. But this isn't based on, you know, the Guardians you summon with, um, equip cards in the field. This is Guardian Exode we're going for. Though, admittedly, we're going to do some rather dickish things in this deck as well. Okay, get down Gravity Bind, and we will set... Golem sentries, you know, that's just how I like to roll. And you can have a thousand life points. I want another card. Sweet. I'll take it. After all, my whole gimmick here is just stalling out the opponent. Um, honestly, since this thing can disrupt my other plans, yeah, I'll trap hole it. There's other cards I can use that I can blow up, like Medusa Worm. Oh, another trap card. Gosh darn it. I got all the trap cards near apparently the top of my deck today. Well, come on. Play your next pathetic card, dude. Um, yeah. I'll just gravity bind it for now. Oh no. He blew up my guardian statue. How dare you! I don't care if he special summons. Well, boom. And we'll get rid of that. And end our turn. So now we're both handless. <laughs> well, I guess he's not alone being, you know, without anything to play right now. Nah, I could blow it up, but what would be the point? I want to save that bottomless trap for something a bit more worthy of my time. Eh, that's fine, I'll activate this. It'll give Kribo another target for, you know, Mystical Space Typhoon. I mean, Kribo also has removed Trap, but I'm guessing I'm going to see MST first. Well, I guess that's a spell card that has no real use at the moment. Sort of like that one. Gosh darn it. Where are you, Morphing Jar? I need you. Oh, I was wrong. We got hit with Remove Trap first. Well, now, ain't that just nice? Powering up that monster, I like it. Because I can just return it. Thank you, Golem Sentry. Flip and return. Sure, I'll lose 500 as a black pendant, but whatever. It denies the opponent, you know, a much better card. I mean, 500 life points is nothing anyway. And here comes the MST. Well, without an equip card, Legin can't get past my monster anyway, but... Boom. Now I say goodbye to you, good sir. Boom. Ooh, Medusa Worm. Nice. Set. And activate. What, you thought I was done using level limits, Karibo? I had another one. I knew I was probably going to need it. But I don't want to sacrifice Medusa Worm for Andro Sphinx. Oh, good, I don't have to, because we got Guardian Statue now. Boom. After all, Medusa Worm's far better, because it destroys monsters. It's basically a swarm of scarabs. Only you know it's a worm. Well. That's nice, but I need the um, other piece of the puzzle before I can do anything here. Boom. Well, let's keep the card count low for Karibo. And then flip. It has to suck for Karibo, because it knows to protect itself and it has to play monsters, but I'm just going to keep casually blowing them up every single turn. So, you returned one. It's still going to be stuck in defense mode. Ah, bring out Red Eyes Black Dragon. You know... That would have been a good play, I suppose, if Ryze was actually able to achieve anything. But, boom, just just flip. And goodbye. Like, all that power completely wasted. 
then again, the uh, potential of Red Eyes tends to fail me in this game, because it doesn't have a lot of it. But I just need one freaking car at this point to finish my strategy here. Where are you, Guardian? It's in here somewhere. I mean, I have bloody three of them and I can't find it. I mean, jeez. I don't even want Morphing Charge because I ended up losing two of my Andro Sphinxes if I do use it. Three of them, sorry. I drew all of them before I drew one of the Guardian Exodes. Oh my gosh. Come on, game. Can't you do me a solid and let me draw my piece? Okay, boom. Ah, another stall card. BAM! Not that you know, I really have to worry about that at this point. Because there's only thing, one thing Kribo could play at this point that could attack. Giant Soldier of Stone. It's just gonna get right underneath that thing, man. Come on. Give me the card I want. I need it. Well, that's useless. I mean, it's not a terrible card or anything. At least in this format, it's just... Ugh. It's, it's not what I want on my deck. Anyway, I have to draw what I want. I'm getting close to about 1-6 at this point. And I'm just like, come on, game. Give me one. You're not going after the worm? Okay. I definitely would have gone for the worm if I was that Karibo. It's not like its location's a secret. I mean, Tam. That's what having a bad eye AI does for you, man. You get screwed over the smallest things. Well, put you back down and guess we'll wait. Ugh. And this still is gonna take forever because I'm waiting for a specific card. I mean, I could basically nickel and dime half Greebo's health away at this rate. Um, set. I'll get rid of these two. They are the weakest options. And I assume I can still do my special summoning whether I um, have it set or not. Well, see, it's like, well, you still met the requirements. It's on the field. You don't have to show it to the opponent. Except when you're tributing it. Okay, that would be terrible to put on there. Boom. Like, Morphing Jar helped me get the piece I want, but I then wouldn't be able to flip it again. And I'd be getting rid of my Andro Sphinxes, so if, you know, Kirby hits me with Stash and Steel, I'm going to be in a big problem spot. Because I gotta leave the the card for the basis for the burn face up. And I don't exactly pay a, uh, a lot of back row removal in this deck. It's all about stopping attacks. So Snatch and Steal is an actual legitimate threat. Because I'd have to return the um, Guardian Exo to my hand. Oh my gosh! Come on! There's three of them in there! Just give me one of them! Like, damn, nine minutes in, I still haven't gotten to the basis of how we're gonna kill our opponent. Finally! Yeah. You can only tribute specific Sphinxes, so I, there's no way for me to speed this up. It has to be like, this Andro Sphinx or its counterpart, and nothing else works. It's so dumb. Yeah, 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 I get turned to defense mode, but that's not the point. The point is, I can burn you for a thousand life points. Four times. Just by flipping cards face up and then face down. Because the Guardian burns them every time I flip a monster, you know, for a thousand points. So, we got every reason in the world, you know, just keep flipping these up, then flipping them down. Oh no, I got Trap Hold. Sadly, that's not going to help me. 
But still take the damage, because I did technically flip a monster. Okay. I mean, it didn't negate the summoning. It just meant I, the monster was destroyed, so it's fine. And all these back face down. Though I'm guessing I'm probably going to end up seeing Snatch and Steel no on my block. Um, no, apparently Karibo doesn't have Snatch and Steel. Dang, sucks to be Karibo. He can't even delay my strategy by taking my piece here. Well, we flip and we destroy. That has to hurt. Ooh, Kribo's gone, but he can't stop burn damage. Only battle damage. Man, all these tools this month are on the long side, aren't they? Though this one's mostly long because of bad RNG. I mean, we had good RNG you near know, the start for setting up for uh, a strong defense, you know, but... Then we got heavily um, delayed on the draw for, you know, our damage piece. Ugh. <sighs> Yep, not a very good uh, result. I mean, I guess if we had to go down all the way down to the wire like I did one match, you could have gotten a lot of points for this. Because in one of those, I got like 1,900 points, because I had to draw effectively every card in my deck to finish the opponent to get my last Andros Sphinx, because I had to return my Guardian card to my hand, because um, Kribo stole it with Snatch and Steel, and if I tried flipping monsters, then it'd burn me. Because, you know, the burn effect uh, would be on Kribo's side, not mine. Ugh. Well, that does it for this one. Till next time, then. See ya.